this guy right here. To some people, it might mean food. To some people, it might be paying off your bills. To some people, it might be a better way of life. On today's video, I wanna talk about the game of money and why cash is absolutely useless. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Patrick Kenny. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, what I do is we talk about how to make more money specifically from the internet and talk about different financial topics that can help you in your everyday life. For those of you guys that are brand new, what we ask is that you click that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on, as well as of course, clicking that like button. So today I want to talk about the money game. I want to talk about why that $20 bill I originally started today's video with is absolutely useless. So as we start, I want to start by drawing the $20 bill. Okay. So we have our $20 bill. Now when you accumulate money, it could be through a investment, it could be through a business, it could be through a job, it could be through a donation, it could be through just somebody giving you money for the sake of it. When you accumulate it, you really have two options. Your two options are to save it or to spend it. Okay. All of our life, through all financial courses, we are taught that we need to save more money. All I've been taught forever is, Patrick, just save your money, save your money, save your money. And that comes from family members, that comes from teachers, that comes from supposed financial experts that don't know what they're talking about. They're always talking about saving money. Why? Because back in the early days, all they're ever taught from their parents and their parents and their parents is saving more money will do you good. Because, because you have money, well, now you can spend it on groceries. You can pay your bills with it. You can do all these good things. Now that might sound good, but you have to understand that in order to get ahead in life, you need to start to understand the money game and understand that all this is, is a literal piece of paper. It's backed by nothing. It means absolutely nothing. And if we run out of it, we can print more. It is literally useless. So what I want you to think about now is I want you to think about this in regards to monopoly and think back. It could be recently, or it could have been years ago. The first time you played monopoly and you learned the ins and outs. What you probably learned is that you're going to need to buy properties in this example to of course accumulate and win the game. And the goal is to of course outstand and, and outlast those people that lose their money as you lap around the monopoly board again and again and again. And likely the person that spent the money and the person that was spending the money to buy the properties was winning the game. So I want you to think about that for a second. Why in Monopoly does the winner spend the money at the beginning, invest its money into these property pieces? Why does the saver typically lose? Well, it's because the spender is investing for the future. They're thinking about, okay, not this lap, but the next lap and the next lap and the next lap and the next lap, I have a potential of gaining income because of the money I spent. That could have been a $20 piece, a $100 piece, a $500 piece, whatever it was. Because of the money I spent, if somebody lands on my space, I will accumulate and make some money. And so now I want you to take a step back and realize that life and real world money is the exact same. If you are going to ultimately be a saver, which I made a, a video that you can check back on about you know, why you don't wanna save money. And ultimately, people that are savers are losers. Savers are the real laughing stocks of this country because they think by saving money, they are doing good. And everybody is taught that we need to save our money and then invest it into companies, invest it into the stock market, invest it into the 401k. Think about it for a second. If I walk into Wells Fargo, everybody knows Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Chase Bank, I don't care who it is. If I walk in 
and I say, hey, I would like to buy some of your stock. Can you loan me some money? They're gonna laugh at you. You can walk in and say, hey, I would like to buy a property. Would you loan me some money? They're gonna say, sure, let's get it going. If that doesn't right there already tell you that this entire system is a literal game to take you down, nothing will. You have to get used to spending money and putting it into real businesses, real assets, stuff that is going to accumulate over time. And until you understand the money game that you have to spend this guy in order to get ahead, you will never get ahead. Because we are stuck in this spot where we are taught that we must save, we must sit on it, we must be ready for the rainy day. And as long as you have three to six months of living expenses saved up, why on earth are you saving? And a lot of people are saying, oh, are you saving up for that new car? Why on earth are you saving for that new car and not saving for that next business or saving for that next property if you are not already where you wanna be? What you have to understand is that this entire financial system is not backed by anything. This is a piece of paper. Similar as this, what I'm writing on right now, this is a piece of paper. All this is is a piece of paper. And whatever value you give it in your own head is the value that it's actually worth. This says $20. It's just a piece of paper. $20 is what the world tells us it's worth. What you have to do is say, all right, it's $20. It's useless to me unless I can use it. Get that business venture going. Buy that next property. Go to that next mastermind. Invest into that next course. And the reason that we do that is the more we dump into these investments, the higher return, again, we will have along the road. And along the road is just the same as that Monopoly board. When you are buying these properties on the Monopoly board, you are thinking in your head, how can I make money the next time my buddy goes around the board? What you should be thinking about is how can I put this Monopoly, which to us is real money, to work so that next year somebody hits it and somebody pays me on the board. Till next time, hope you enjoyed today's video. Click that like button if you got something out of it and I'll see you on the next one.